So what I want to do is create a service. So let's make a new folder named services. And inside of here, we can create a new folder once again called shopping list. And inside of the shopping list folder, we can make a shopping dash list dot service dot TS. So you may want to add these things inside of your own application as part of its own module. But for this point in time, we're simply going to add it in this folder. So let's create a new class by using export class. This class is going to be the shopping list service. As we'll be using the constructor to inject Angular Fire database, we will need to add the injectable decorator. And we can import injectable from Angular Core. So the first thing I'd like to do is create a reference to our database. This is telling Angular Fire which part of Firebase we're interested in. So let's make a private shopping list reference. And that's going to be equal to shopping list. But ideally, we need to have a reference to the shopping list list inside of Firebase. So what we need to do is say private database. And that is going to be a reference to the Angular Fire database. So that is imported from Angular Fire 2 slash database. And because we now have a reference to the database, we can say that the shopping list reference should be equal to this dot db dot list. And then we want a list equal to this shopping list. But even still, we can type this by saying that it's a type of shopping list items by importing our item model and setting it as the type using the left and right brackets. So let's now get a reference to this list. So we can expose a method called get shopping list by saying return this dot shopping list reference. And that'll return us the shopping list. So we can then display that inside of the browser. And I'd also like to make a function called add item. This will take in an item of type item and we can return this dot shopping list reference dot push. We'll push the item to the database. And therefore, we'd be able to view this item by using the get shopping list function. Awesome. So let's head back over to our app module now. And inside of the app module, we can add to the providers the shopping list service. That shopping list service comes from our services folder and inside of our services folder, we then have the shopping list and the shopping list service. So we now have the ability to add items to the shopping list. So let's go back to our add shopping item.ts and inside of here, we can make a function called add item. If you wanted to make this more testable, you certainly could add an item as an argument here. And we could then take a reference to our shopping. So let's say private shopping is going to be a shopping list service. So we need to import the shopping list service into this page. And then by using add item, we can say this dot shopping dot add item and pass through the item. We should then get a reference back So let's say dot then pass through the reference and I'm going to console.log the ref dot key. And what this will be is it'll be the key to the item that we've added. So let's open up our JavaScript console, go back to our add shopping item page. And the final thing we need to do before this will work is add a click event to our add button, which will be set to add item and pass through the item. I'm also going to remove the item.json for now. And when we save this file, we can type in iPad Pro, a quantity of one and a price of 700. So let's click add. And notice how we get this key back. 
It looks quite jumbled, but essentially what it's doing is it's telling us that we've added this item to our shopping list and here is the key. So that's exactly what we wanted to do. So what I'm going to do now is navigate the user back to the home page after that has completed. So that will be done by saying this.navcontrol.setRoot and it will set the root to the home page and if we really wanted to, we could pass through the ref.key. So potentially we could set this here as a nav parameter by saying key is equal to ref.key. And that's just in case we wanted to capture this item again, maybe on the home page. So if we selected add once more, but we could change this to be iPad Pro and maybe nine inch, price of which would be like 500. And if we hit add, It should navigate us back to that home page. So what we've done here is add an item to the list. We can't currently view the items in the list unless we look at the Firebase dashboards. But in the next lecture, we're going to be displaying it here inside of our home page. So that's all coming up in the next lecture.